So today I'm gonna cover a very specific part of the fence building process, these little pieces of metal right here. So what is this? This is a fence tie or a fence clip. You've got your fence, but you've gotta have a way to secure the fence to the post. And that's where these little guys come in handy. You can get these at your local hardware store or wherever you bought your T-post. You're gonna have your fence installed, you're gonna have your T-posts up, you're gonna have your wire pulled. If you're not familiar with how to do that, then definitely go back and check out my series, How to Build a Goat Fence on Small Acreage. I will walk you through exactly what we did to get our fence to this point today. So what you're gonna need is your fence clips. You're also gonna need to invest in a clip bending tool, okay? Now, there's a couple of different options. There's something similar to this. It has different size holes, so if you have different size wire, then you can insert it into the holes, okay? What I have found from my experience is the better option is this tool. You can get both of these wherever you bought your posts and fencing from. You also wanna have on hand something like this. No clue what this is called. I found it under the garage. I was really looking for some pliers. I couldn't find the type of pliers that I was really looking for, but I found this little thing. Really what you want is just something to where if you get to a point where you have your clip and you need to grab the end of the clip for some reason and pull on it. If you have goats, especially like our goats, they really like to rub up against the fence line, which is why our fence is so bowed out right now because they've been pushing up against it. So you wanna make sure that the tips of these are actually actually bent away from the goats or away from your animals on the inside because you know they could come along and scrape right across the tip of this clip. So that's where this comes in. So now I'm gonna walk you through step by step how to use these clips. It's a little difficult at first, but you are gonna get it. And I'm gonna help you by sharing my tips and pointers. When you start on your project, you're gonna have a leg up on everybody else because you're already gonna know how to avoid the aggravation. Let's just get started. We have a lot of fence to tie. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell. You will be notified anytime any new content is added to this channel. Give it a thumbs up if you found this information useful or entertaining. And don't forget to share with all your pals. So the first thing I want to point out is the orientation of your T-posts on your fence. The barbs are going to go on the outside. The base of the T is going to be on the inside. If it's just loose, you might find it useful to actually take and prop up your fence on the top of the post. Now the major problem is if you have nosy animals like I do, they're going to make this job a lot more difficult for you by jumping up on the fence. So your clips are gonna go on in this direction. You've got the U side, which has these two little U's on either end, and then you have the angle side, which has the triangle. That's gonna go over the base of your post. It's gonna fit just like that. Take your left U side, reach around your post, and grab a hold of the wire. You want to look at your right U side and grab a hold of the wire. You're gonna take your tool and slide it on top of your left U. Push down and away from you and you're gonna slip it through the fence. Then you're gonna come up and around like that. And you really wanna just let the tool do the work. Use the swivel to your advantage and let it do the work. I don't like the way that the base of that clip is facing into my pasture. So that's where your pliers come in handy. I'm just going to kind of grab it and then turn it up a little bit just to kind of keep the goats from rubbing across it. I don't want them to get any kind of cut that could lead to an infection. Um, I'm going to use this tool on the other side. The second side may be a little bit more difficult because you have tension on your first side. So just expect that. Use your finger to push up on your clip. Slide your twisting tool over the top. And again, you just push, pull, push, pull, push, until you have it wrapped around. And that's how you do it. 